Hybrid family, as you can see by the title of the video, we do have the best team in Madden. And that is no joke. We may not be a 97, 98 overall, but statistically and also ability wise, we have the best team in Madden. So enough said, let's go ahead. Let's get into the lineup. And you can see right here, quarterback number one, even after Terry Bradshaw did just get released, we still have Mr. Bo Jackson. Very mobile, traditional four, release. Only gripe about this card is that 88 throw under pressure, but with that fearless track card, he does hit the 90 overall threshold. And it's just like a regular quarterback. Now with his ability stack with Master Tactician, Gift Wrap, it is gonna be your choice to use Roman Deadeye, which I do highly suggest that you do. And also Gunslinger and Set Fee Lead for six AP. Like, I don't see Bo Jackson not being QB1 until Golden Ticket Bo Jackson come out. Like, as good as this card is, is it's actually kind of crazy. Like, I haven't used a quarterback for this long since I like that RG3 that came out at the beginning of the year. Like, this, this is dang near an in game quarterback. Now, for our halfback, number one, we do have Mr. Raheem Mostert. We no longer are using Angry Runs Bo Jackson because, listen, just using Bo all the time, it gets boring, it gets repetitive. And, frankly, I'm a Dolphins fan, as we all know, and I just didn't like just abusing the Angry Runs all the time. Like, yes, I understand, like, you know, that's how some people win their games and whatnot, but I just felt like I just didn't need that to go ahead and do what I need to do out here. So we do have Raheem Mostert with Evasive and also Running Back Apprentice. Just, in, just you know, to help us out until that Master Tactician is activated on Bo Jackson. Running Back number two, we have Darren McFadden with Energizer. And then Christian McCaffrey, he comes in when I'm scared that Darren McFadden is gonna fumble. I have fumbled quite a bit with this card and it may be close to his time coming. I'm just not quite sure yet. But for our wide receivers, we do have Mr. Tyree Keel. He has outside apprentice, and I want to say mid out elite for zero AP, 99 speed. He does get that, like I said, the outside apprentice. So until Bo Jackson gets all the way X factored up and activated, we are not limited to the hot routes that we can give him. Wide receiver number three, we do have Justin Jefferson with that third down threat ability. He doesn't technically just see the field, but with 98 speed, standing at six foot one, you don't get much better than that, especially also for a free option. Now, coming over here at fullback, I know you have the Christian Okoye's and all that good stuff, but if we're going strictly off of price and also ability stack, Alec Ingold is just as good is that Christian Okoye with honorary lineman and also gold line back for zero AP. Now, Mr. Harold Carmichael, six foot eight with matchup nightmare and also mid in elite for zero. This man is absolutely crazy. I understand he doesn't get the apprentices abilities and all of that stuff, but his juke being that tall, he creates so much separation after the catch when you try to do any type of ball carrier move. It's honestly insane. So he has to stay on the team. And he's a gold 99. Hey, you don't get much better than that. Now, coming in for our tight end position, I know we have the Travis Kelsey's, the 97 overall Kyle Pitts. We also have all of these other star studded tight ends i understand and we also just got that new rob gronkowski but as far as when i say this luke musgrave he's pretty much the same as rob gronkowski as far as a productivity rate minus the cost 98 speed 87 strength he is lacking in run block but standing at six foot six 253 pounds he's just gonna get in the way and that's all you just need for a run blocker to do. Just get in that defensive back way or that linebacker way. Granted, like his ability stack is not the best with only having matchup nightmare. But I just don't really just find myself just having to rely on short end elite or 
a route tech or a tight end apprentice when it comes to my tight ends. So that that it doesn't really affect me that much. Now, right here for tight end number two, we do have a Kyle Pitts. It is the free MCS version, which I do, do still believe is really like a top three tight end in this game. 95 speed. You know, you would like to see that better, which I need to check to see about my Super Bowl kins on why he's not getting that. But we do have this man standing at six foot six, 245 pounds, which means he does get that fast juke animation. And within the same categories that Harold Carmichael, his jukes is insane. His run after the catch ability is even better. And then coming in the tight end number three, we do have Jonu Smith, Dolphin, Dolphin Steam Team Chemistry, and all of that stuff. We are running a 30 out of 35. And then we also need to check on this Super Bowl, Kim, when we get to the defense, I do believe. But enough with that being said, let's go ahead. Let's get into this offensive line right here. The main story about offensive linemen, you need secure protector. It may not always stop the inside stuff, the no outsiders, the unstoppable forces, the colossus. But it will make your life a lot easier when standing in that pocket. Now, as you can see, at left tackle and right tackle, we are both rocking zero AP secure protector and also a linchpin on Andrew Thomas. That pretty much gives your entire offensive line all day. So now we have the combination of secure protector and all day throughout all of our offensive linemen. Now for our left guard, I think in our last video, we did have Mr. Quentin Nelson right here. And now we have leveled up and we put Andrew Whitworth right here. We got rid of the Super Bowl work version of him. And now we're running the season pass 97 overall right here. And frankly, I, I I don't see a difference. I understand like he's not he's not naturally a left guard. And overall, t people tend to care about that, playing people in position and whatnot. But if we're just trying to win a game of Madden in the crazy state that it is in now, I don't see no problem running people out of position, especially when you see what we got cooking on defense. But Andrew Whitworth, he does have that secure protector and also identifier. Identifier is also an optional ability, but I just really find comfort in knowing where my opponent is trying to use her, especially in certain plays that I do run. And now for our center, we do have the Miami Dolphins center, which I never knew that Evan Brown played for the Dolphins. Apparently it was like for like six months or whatnot. But he does get that post up and secure protector combo for one AP. And then rounding off our offensive line, we have Mr. Larry Allen with a zero AP secure protector and a zero AP nasty street. He is by far the most expensive lineman. I almost considered selling him when eggs hatched, but I just I just kept I just kept uh held on to him. Like it was no point because I already know I'm not replacing Larry Allen at the end of the year by any means. Now I could have picked up a Jason Kelsey, which I want to say he gets secure protected for zero. But you know, like I said, it all comes down to price and abilities. And if I can get the same thing for just one, I'll do that, especially if it's not causing an AP strain on my team. But that's enough about the offense. Let's go ahead and get into this defense. Now, over here on defense, listen to me. It is a method to this madness. I know you see a lot of people out of position and whatnot. So we'll start at the top. Free safety, we do have Mr. Deion Sanders right here with that deep zone knockout, mid zone knockout. And we're also running a two AP pick artist on him because we just have so much ability points to still spare. And that's why he's running at that top safety position I do run a lot of cover four, so it only made sense. Now, for Mr. Bo Jackson, we do have that uh, secure protector and I mean, secure tackler and also lurk artist when we do run our 6 1 defenses and whatnot. Lurk artist on Chuck Howley, lurk artist in mid zone on Fred Warner when we do get into our dollar defense. And then our user is going to be Mr. Ted Hendricks with that lurk artist and also run stopper. Not sure if run stopper even helps with anything i just have it on there because it's zero ap and then frankly the oldest card on this team almost and pretty much the best card on this team 
Mr. Jair Brown with that light it up token, mid zone KO, deep zone, and also pick artist all for one AP. You don't get much better than that. Once we do figure out this whole situation with uh, our Super Bowl Kim, which I do believe is just going to be this right here. We took Warren Sapp out the lineup and yeah, so now we're back. So now with 98 speed, that all of that for one AP, you don't get much better than that. Now for our corners, we are playing Mr. Rashad Jones out of position with that deep zone knockout in mid zone. Now, if you notice the trend, everything involving DBs has always got to be focused around knockouts. We're not really just worried about physical stats. We're not worried about the speed. We're not worried about the zone coverage. Like, it's enough boosts and cams and all of that stuff to handle that. But if you don't get the right zone knockout ability set up, you're not going to be successful out there on the field. And so coming in at our cornerback number three spot, that's where we have Mr. Charles Tillman, Peanut Tillman himself, with zero AP flat zone and also zero AP mid zone. Best slot corner in the game, there's more than likely not going to be a reason to go ahead and upgrade him for the rest of the year. Now, here comes the defensive lineman, and then we're going to go into our cornerback number two spot at the end of this. We have Mr. Roman Reigns with Showtime level two unstoppable force with edge threat elite, a zero AP in th interior threat because it was just free. And we also have a zero AP no outsiders. Now, the way that I construct my line, I want my two interior guys to get both abilities and I want my two outside guys to go ahead and get no outsiders. Instead of running all inside stuff, that, that's no need. We don't run a inside zone meta no more. Everybody loves the RPO stretches. And so that is what we're, we built this team around. So now we have Mr. 99 overall Howie Long right here. If you don't believe me, here it is. He is the 99 overall. And we have zero AP, no outsiders, and also zero AP inside stuff on him. We have the Christian Barmore right here with zero AP, no outsiders, zero AP inside stuff. And now coming over to our left end, which we have Aaron Donald, the best, by far the best defensive card in the game. And I frankly don't see him not being the best at all for the rest of the year. Unstoppable Force, a.k.a. Cruz, or you can get Unstoppable Force Combine, but this one is just zero AP. He also gets Relentless, so rush moves or any type of pass rush moves, it doesn't cost him anything. No outsider, so he can stop stretches, and also edge that elite to combine with that Relentless and Unstoppable Force, which also adds a under pressure to him to get pressure on the QB. This card is Zeus, the Zeus of Mutt himself there's no question about it and now for our cornerback number two we have mr brian branch with that deep zone knockout and also mid zone for one ap unfortunately we did not get him out of the uh sugar rush egg so we went out and bought him when he was cheap and rounding out our last bit of defense we have mr patrick certain here with a zero ap pick artist and also a zero ap flat zone ko so if you notice, like both of my nickel corners, they stay on the outside between a zero and five yards, and then they just spread out. I don't have them going up the field or anything of that nature, so flat zone is definitely useful when it comes to that. For our specialist, 99 Pat McAfee, we're still rocking that 94 overall Gary Anderson right there. Here's our specialist so you can see how we really just got things set up. I'm more than likely going to be moving Howie Long to rushing defense uh tackle one instead of having barmore there simply because how alone does have the better pass or stats but this is how we have it set up right here and then for our strategies we are still rocking that spread defense i mean spread offense and the chiefs defense offensive strategy we do have that fearless defensive zone strategy we have that plus four zone coverage running the dolphins times four and also a zone coverage coach and a zone coverage hybrid slot and then the jerseys. So overall, this is why I do feel as if we have the best team in Madden. 
Although we may not be the highest overall or playing everybody in position, but where everything counts as far as an ability standpoint, we hit the marker every single time. Now, if you think that I need to add somebody or replace somebody, let me know down below in the comment section. And if you found this video helpful, hey, let me know. Hit that subscribe button and show me your support. As always, I do love you all tremendously. And make sure you do hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers and the Hybrid family is constantly growing. But until next time, my brothers and sisters, I'm out.